Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my co-op exploration game, Clomper. Plague continues to reign supreme in Lang Towers, so I've done my best to do something, even something tiny, every single day. My voice is still not back to normal, please excuse its wobbles and croaks. The first job this week was to move the con. I needed it closer to the map and the steam input around the other side. I'm still not convinced it's in the right place, but it is better. The best pipe combination from the boiler to the con isn't obvious, but working out your own design of pipes and to power both the map and the con is satisfying. The three numbers that run across the top of the screen were only temporary while I tested the physics of the clomper itself. I want the players to have little sense of what's going on outside unless they're at the map and looking at the con. The big job this week was turning those three numbers of speed, heading and health into physical objects represented on the con. The clomper's direction of travel, or heading, is a compass bearing shown by this ring that turns as the clomper turns. The red needle shows the direction of travel. The graphic is a simple texture I slapped on there and I hate it with a passion. However, I'm still fending off that deep desire to move away from these developer graphics and do better ones but I need to know if the game is fun to play first. The dial above heading is speed, and above that is the health ball, which drains away to black when the clomper takes damage. When health reaches zero, the clomper isn't destroyed, although will eventually have a game mode to give players that level of challenge. I'm quite pleased with the health filling up. It's a shader graph shader using lots of inspiration from Will Malin, the link below in the description. It's not the finished design, as I want it to pulse like a heartbeat, but it will do for now. Like all the other machines, removing power from the con switches it all off. The compass points back to north, the speed needle returns to zero, and the health sphere empties. None of this may be true, you might still be turning, and you may have plenty of health, but you won't know until you repower the con. Finally, a big list of thank yous to all those people who continue to support me, so many to call out. In particular, in Devlog 2, Tom Wayland rightly pointed out that the map was hard to read because it was constantly moving. I've sorted that out with quicker moving hexes. Next week, the quests are going to be created, so there'll be places to go and pointers to take you there. Thank you for watching to the end. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, and if you like to keep up to date with my progress, please hit subscribe. Have a good one. Goodbye.